In today's Amy's Angels, July is National Minority Mental Health Awareness Month, but one local father fights year round to bring attention to this growing health crisis. He lost his son to suicide and now he's working to stop the stigma so one day it doesn't happen to anyone else. Had an ability to make everyone feel important. He was the kid that would come sit with the kid by himself at the lunch table or on the school bus. Dominic Fisher was the guy everybody loved. A good student, a three-sport athlete at Detroit Catholic Central High School. He could do everything well, but he could not live with the stigma of being diagnosed with a mental illness. The primary reason I feel we lost Dominique was due to stigma. Dominique, like many others, did not want people to know he was battling mental illness and taking medication. So at the age of 23, he stopped taking his meds and going to therapy. And shortly after, he started to self-medicate with marijuana and alcohol. Three months later, his parents' worst nightmare. On June 27th of 2010, that journey came to an end because uh, we lost Dominic to suicide. Since Dominique's death, his father Kevin, a former businessman, has made it his life's work to educate others and stop the stigma surrounding mental illness. He is now the executive director of the Michigan chapter of the National Alliance on Mental Illness. The behavioral health and suicide prevention advocate works year round to help others. His efforts highlighted in July, which is National Minority Mental Health Awareness Month. In the African-American community, there is a great mistrust of the medical community. Um, in the African-American community, the stigma of mental illness is you're crazy, mm -hmm. you're less than, um, and we have a tendency to lean more on our faith than treatment. One of Kevin's newest job titles is president and CEO of EverybodyVersusStigma.com. It's a website where you can help fight stigma by buying and sporting some really cool clothing. The idea born at one of his annual NAMI walks and developed in the basement of his house is now reaching people across the country with a life-saving message. We really plan to change the culture because we're really talking about a culture change. Uh, we want people to be more comfortable seeking help. And the way we do that is by normalizing the conversation. What's really great, 100% of the profits from everybodyversusstigma.com support the Dominique Fisher Memorial Foundation, which raises funds, awareness, and provides access to resources that support individuals and families living with mental illness. It's all about increasing awareness and eliminating the stigma so people will seek the help that they need. We know that stigma is the leading barrier that prevents people from taking taking the very first step to getting the help that they need. And here's how you can help this wonderful family. You can purchase a shirt or hat on everybodyversusstigma.com. They're really cool. I have one myself. Uh, there you can find a variety of activities as well that you can sign up to help spread awareness. You can also visit the NAMI website to sign up for this year's walk in September. I am proud to be the Grand Marshal of this year's walk, so we hope to see you out there.